Welcome to another video. My name is Prince Mason. This is actually the part two of this retouching video. If you haven't seen the part one, then definitely check it out. In the part one, what we did was retouch this image and we took it from here all the way to this point where the skin looks really good and amazing. So um, check it out from here to here, fix the hair. We even fixed the background. So if I go all the way to the beginning, right? Um, because I didn't create a layer. This is how everything looks. And right now, this is where we're at. So if you haven't checked that out, then definitely check it i'll put a card up you know somewhere here and or a link in the description so definitely check that out so this part two and in part two of this video what we're going to be doing with this image is color grading the skin and making it look like this now i have gone a little bit overboard um, with the color grading but i just want you guys to see the effect so here's the before here's the after i'm showing you exactly how i got the image to look like this so you know buckle in <laughs> or buckle up let's get straight into getting this out of the way but before we do that i want to tell you guys about my skin tone lots and my retouching essentials pack if you have not gotten any of those then you are definitely missing i have some amazing skin tone lots that help you color grade your skin tones or give you a starting point or even add a finishing um look to your images so definitely check those out links are in the description below and if you have not gotten my retouching essentials pack you are dulling it has 15 amazing actions that help you retouch better and retouch faster so definitely check it out and also just go sign up for my um retouch master class if you're looking to take your retouching from where it is to a whole new level um links are going to be in the description below check everything out yeah great let's get straight into this so the first thing i want to do is just turn off this color grade layer as you guys can see it. the skin looks really nice and rich and it has like a nice color to it the first thing i always do when it comes to color grading especially images like this is run my rich tones action if you do not have that it's totally okay you don't need to have it but it just gives a really nice look that i love so i'm going to run that and put it at 20 percent that's typically my go-to as you can see what it has done is that it kind of like made everything contrasty but at the same time it's somewhat dulled down the colors of the skin so i don't know if you guys can see it before after before after so made it a little bit contrasty dull down the colors of the skin you know it's always like a nice base for me when it comes to color grading so most of the time not all the time but most of the time i always use that now the next thing i want to do is jump into my selective color so selective color is absolutely amazing when it comes to color grading your skin tones and that's because you can select your reds and your yellows and typically that's where your skin tones tend to be um, in your reds and in your yellows so um, it's very easy for you to target specific colors you know first things first you can target your blacks and your whites so you know if i raise this up then i'll add some contrast to it if i bring it down then you know i will remove some contrast from my image so that's going to be my blacks right then we also have our yellows here. Um, if I go up, I'll add more yellows. If I come back, I'll add more, um, I'll see more blues to my image, right? Um, so I'm gonna take that back to zero. And we have our magentas. If you go up with your magentas, you add more magentas. If you go down, then you add more greens to your image and your cyan is the same thing. You go up, you add cyan, and if you go down, you add reds to your image. So just put that at the back of your mind when you're color grading and this will help you get like a proper look. For this look, what I can see is that she has a little bit on magenta in her skin i mean she has some yellows but they're not just strong enough and you know i want to make everything look really nice and rich and i really want to bring her skin tones out right so the first thing i want to do is mess around with my red so what i'm going to do is just drag some yellows into my image you know you can see it looks a little nice and now once i've added yellows right what this does is that in a way kind of like boosts up like the greens you know somewhat so what i'm going to do is just add some magentas to counter that right and then i'll add some science to the skin too right so if we quickly look at the before and the after you can see that we're getting that nice golden look already right which i really love to do with dark skin models right um and then i'll do the same thing for my yellows too you know i'm just going to drag this up add some of this then add a little bit of cyan to it nothing too much so if you look at the before and the after skin is looking nice and beautiful at this point and one thing i always like to do with my reds is just add a little bit of contrast to it just a tiny bit of contrast and what this does is that it just makes your overall image look absolutely gorgeous so as i said before and that's after now what you can do with this is you know basically just put both of them in a group or put everything in a group right and then you can create a layer mask on your group and then invert the layer mask so what this does is that it just takes away from like the whole image and everything is going to be happening on the skin so what we're going to do is just paint that um 
with white to reveal so a soft white brush will paint on layer mask and what this will do is just reveal our color grade on the skin don't worry about the eyes you know as you guys can see it's almost like she has this nice golden tan going on here you know oof that looks absolutely beautiful okay great like i mean i don't mind getting some of it you know on the whites and the, the outfit um but typically i'll take my time to you know work on this image if it had like a lot more elements in it okay great so let's see our before and our after it looks absolutely good at this point i can say okay you know i'm just going to do like the eyes and teeth whitening and be done with it because we don't have to do too much for an image like this especially when you know an image is shot well and you got like colors really good from um, processing the raw files we don't need to do too much right but the problem i can see right here now is that you can see the face the body everything looks good but this part of the hands just look pale you know it's not matching the overall vibe of the image right so what i'm going to do to fix this is create another selective color layer like i said selective color is very powerful but this time i'm going to invert that layer you know so i'm going to hide this layer so that's what i'm doing by creating a layer mask now i'm going to paint white to reveal this layer and um, i'm just going to paint it on her hand here you know you can you know just click on your slash key to see exactly what you're painting on you know i'm um, just revealing her hand here right so i'm not painting the whole hand yet but just that part of the hand then you know i'm going to hit the slash key on my keyboard again to hide that what i want to do right now is just make sure i match this part to her skin here so the first thing i want to do my selective color is open is probably just go into my blacks right and add some contrast in the hand let's see you guys can see add some contrast to the hand and then i'll go into my reds and add some more contrast to the hand right looks really good we're getting close but what i can see is that she has some blues and i would say some cyan's in there sorry some magentas in there and i want to take that out so what i'm going to do is add some yellows to it and maybe a little bit of magenta and then add some cyan seed you know just make it a little bit closer to um, her hands but nothing too crazy then i'll go to my yellows and do the same thing in my yellows you know counter with the magenta and add some science to it so let's see uh before and after before after you can see it's really close to this right now before after looks really good for the yellows what we can do is just add some more contrast to our image right here so what i'm going to do is come back here now and i'm going to use a brush to just paint the fingers into it so i'm just going to paint this and it doesn't have to be perfect but, I mean just do a decent job okay great now I'm going to paint this finger into you guys can see I don't need to get the nails um, but yeah so let's see our before and our after for this hand right here I mean to me I even feel like it's it's a little bit too dark so let's see our before you guys see what that looks like and our after before and after you can see it, it kind of like it matches the overall look of the image right now but i feel like it's a little bit too dark so i'm just going to reduce this then come down to the blacks maybe even reduce it from the blacks here and then from the reds i'm probably going to dial this down just a little bit so it matches the overall look okay great and here we have it guys look at this image color graded and everything looks absolutely delicious so let's see uh before and uh, after before and uh, after um, right now at this point what I can do is just fix like any parts of the hair that I can see through that's very easy to fix all I have to do is just create a new layer um, pick my clone stamp tool go to all layers because I wanted to sample all layers right and um, I'm going to reduce my flow you know just something all the way down there and what I'm going to do is just sample and just paint over you know any of these places that i feel like has funny gaps it doesn't have to be perfect but i'm just going to sample and paint over any of those gaps that are there and just fill those tiny gaps up yeah so let's see you can see we fill those tiny gaps everything looks good it doesn't have to be perfectly round but i can decide to come in here and just fix it. just or oh, this time what i'm going to do is just increase my brush hardness so you know it doesn't look wonky just you know take out some of those weird edges that are there yeah 
let's see did i do it nah i mean i didn't do a bad job could be better you know could definitely be better pretty sure somebody out there will do a way better job than me <laughs> uh okay um i mean i don't think this is bad decent enough i mean this is not going on anybody's portfolio right now <laughs> just for a tutorial <laughs> okay great um also don't forget free eyes and teeth whitening action don't ever forget that can just run that get in there i don't know if i did that before but i mean it doesn't matter pick a brush i don't know if i did it in the previous video like i said if you haven't watched that video go check it out and just whiten the eyes okay um for now we're going to leave the teeth uh, that looks too bright so i'm just going to reduce it somewhere around here is fine and let's see our before and after image and i hope i wasn't too fast this time for you guys so this is our before and this is our after absolutely gorgeous before after i mean your color grain doesn't have to be this strong that's another thing you can always just jump in here and reduce the effect of your color grain to your liking so something like this works for you then that's fine so right now i'm just going to save this and to capture one and i'll get into capture one and show you guys just one or two other things that you should do to your image um that will give it that it will just make it look richer and also it would um it will make it look richer and also it would um just add a little bit of texture to your image so let's get into capture one and i'll show that to you Okay guys, so now we are in Capture One and one thing I like doing or one thing I've been doing recently with my images is just going down here to my color balance, right? So I'm just going to open the three-way color corrector and just drag my mid-tones down just a little bit. That's one thing I've just been doing with my images. I mean, it's not like a lot, but you guys can see it just adds some richness to the skin. Um, and um, the next thing I want to do is just going to refine. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can show you guys. There is absolutely nothing out of the ordinary here and just add some grain to it. I like to use tubular or hash grains and i'll just add some grain to it and um, for you guys i like sharpening you can just throw in a little bit of sharpening to make your image look um a tad sharper i typically do not like sharpening my images but i mean that's it and yeah guys that is about it that is our image uh, i'm going to put the before and after side by side so this is our before and this is our after like i said absolutely gorgeous love this edit if you guys love it give it a thumbs up and thanks so much for watching today's video i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget check out my digital store and thank you so much for the support you guys absolutely rock thank you see you guys in the next video peace out guys